Sir Robert Geoffrey Edwards, the 27th of September 1925 to the 10th of April 2013, was an English physiologist and pioneer in reproductive medicine and in vitro fertilization (IVF) in particular. Along with the surgeon Patrick Steptoe, Edwards successfully pioneered conception through IVF, which led to the birth of Louise Brown on 25 July 1978. They founded the first IVF program for infertile patients and trained other scientists in their techniques. Edwards was the founding editor-in-chief of Human Reproduction in 1986. In 2010, he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for the development of in vitro fertilization. Topic: <inaudible> 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 Education and early career. Edwards was born in Batley, Yorkshire, and attended Manchester Central High School on Whitworth Street in central Manchester, after which he served in the British Army, and then completed his undergraduate studies in biology, graduating with an ordinary degree at Bangor University. He studied at the Institute of Animal Genetics and Embryology at the University of Edinburgh, where he was awarded a PhD in 1955. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Career and Research. After a year as a postdoctoral research fellow at the California Institute of Technology he joined the scientific staff of the National Institute for Medical Research at Mill Hill. After a further year at the University of Glasgow, in 1963 he moved to the University of Cambridge as Ford Foundation Research Fellow at the Department of Physiology, and a member of Churchill College, Cambridge. He was appointed Reader in Physiology in 1969. Human fertilization Circa 1960 Edwards started to study human fertilization, and he continued his work at Cambridge, laying the groundwork for his later success. In 1968 he was able to achieve fertilization of a human egg in the laboratory and started to collaborate with Patrick Steptoe, a gynecologic surgeon from Oldham. Edwards developed human culture media to allow the fertilization and early embryo culture, while Steptoe used laparoscopy to recover ovocytes from patients with tubal infertility. Their attempts met significant hostility and opposition, including a refusal of the Medical Research Council to fund their research and a number of lawsuits. Additional historical information on this controversial era in the development of IVF has been published. Roger Gosden was one of his first graduate students. The birth of Louise Brown, the world's first test tube baby, at 11:47 p.m. on the 25th of July 1978 at the Oldham General Hospital made medical history. In vitro fertilization meant a new way to help infertile couples who formerly had no possibility of having a baby. Nurse Jean Purdy was the first to see Brown's embryo dividing. Refinements in technology have increased pregnancy rates and it is estimated that in 2010 about 4 million children have been born by IVF, with approximately 170,000 coming from donated oocyte and embryos. Their breakthrough laid the groundwork for further innovations such as intracytoplasmatic sperm injection ICSI, embryo biopsy PGD, and stem cell research. Edwards and Steptoe founded the Bourne Hall Clinic as a place to advance their work and train new specialists. 
Steptoe died in 1988. Edwards continued on in his career as a scientist and an editor of medical journals. Topic: <laughs> Honors and Awards. Edwards received numerous honors and awards including Edwards was elected as a fellow of the Royal Society FRS in 1984. In 1994, Dr. Honoris Causa, University of Valencia, Spain. In 2001, he was awarded the Albert Lasker Clinical Medical Research Award by the Lasker Foundation for the development of in vitro fertilization, a technological advance that has revolutionized the treatment of human infertility. In 2007, he was ranked 26th in the Daily Telegraph's list of 100 Greatest Living Geniuses. In 2007, he was awarded an honorary doctorate from the University of Huddersfield. On 4 October 2010, it was announced that Edwards had been awarded the 2010 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for the development of in vitro fertilization. The Nobel Committee praised him for advancing treatment of infertility and noted that babies of IVF have similar health statuses to other babies. Goran K. Hansen, secretary of the Nobel Assembly at the Karolinska Institute in Stockholm, announced the news. The first child of IVF Louise Brown described the award as, "...fantastic news." A Vatican official condemned the move as, "...completely out of order." As mentioned by Simon Fischel in December 2010, at the Nobel Awards ceremony that was full of pathos in Bob's absence, these precious words were spoken, in the absence of this year's Nobel laureate in physiology or medicine, I ask Professor Edwards' wife and long-term scientific companion, Dr. Ruth Fowler Edwards, to come forward and receive his prize from the hands of His Majesty the King. Edwards was knighted in the 2011 Birthday Honours for Services to Human Reproductive Biology. Edwards featured in the BBC Radio 4 series The New Elizabethans to mark the Diamond Jubilee of Queen Elizabeth II in 2012. A panel of seven academics, journalists and historians named him among the group of people in the UK whose actions during the reign of Elizabeth II have had a significant impact on lives in these islands and given the age its character. <laughs> Personal life Edwards married Ruth Fowler Edwards 1930 to 2013 also a scientist with significant work granddaughter of 1908 Nobel laureate physicist Ernest Rutherford and daughter of physicist Ralph Fowler in 1956 The couple had 5 daughters and 12 grandchildren Topic Death Edwards died at home near Cambridge, England on 10 April 2013 after a long lung illness. A spokesperson for the University of Cambridge said, "...he will be greatly missed by family, friends and colleagues." The Guardian reported that, as of Edwards' death, more than four million births had resulted from IVF, Louise Brown said. His work, along with Patrick Steptoe, has brought happiness and joy to millions of people all over the world by enabling them to have children. According to the BBC, his work was motivated by his belief that the most important thing in life is having a child. 
A plaque was unveiled at the Bourne Hall Clinic in July 2013 by Louise Brown and Alistair MacDonald, the world's first IVF baby boy, commemorating Steptoe and Edwards. <laughs>